Yeah, and fixed top to 60 is a pit window that we're looking at. And, uh, if they don't have to stretch fuel, sometimes we see them stretch that. That 24 degrees of banking in the corners makes for some exciting racing. Right before we go green, Eddie Pardue was on the radio to Kenseth and the team. All right, boys, let's be ready, Dave. All day long here. Let's show what we got. Let's put him out front. Let him close the deal for us. If you look bad, let us know what you need for adjustment. So we'll try to stay on top of them. All right, good luck. Three cars are going to the rear. The 60 for the shock replacement that you heard uh, Carl talk about. The 09 had an unapproved adjustment. They are back out. It was a sway bar. And then the 23 crashed in qualifying, and they are in a backup car for Robert Richardson Jr. So the Pates car is coming out of turn number four, and we are down to race number 33 of the 2010 NASCAR Nationwide Series here at Texas Motor Speedway. They're rolling them down. They're rolling them down. And now the green flag is... Lion and we're racing here at Texas. Kansas pulls out about a two-car length lead going down the back stretch. We will tell you the 09 is back into pit lane to check out that uh, adjustment. They obviously have more problems on that car. Jason Leffler is in second, David Reagan is third, and it's going to be Kendrick leading here on lap number one of 200. And Jason Leffler, after a good start, he was very excited when I was talking to him yesterday about his chances here. He loves this racetrack starting up front. He felt that was going to really help his chances to have a great run today. Saw the 10 car a little bit further back uh, in now fifth place. That's Casey Kane. He had a good run yesterday in qualifying. He's on the high side of the 18 of Kyle Busch. Started sixth and right now is trying to take over fifth. Yeah, it looks like Kyle Busch going to get clear right there, Casey Kane. Right behind the 88. Brad Keselowski, Brian Vickers in the 32 as they go side by side through turns one and two. Now they'd really like to make this high line come in. These cars with the limited amount of horsepower they have, they can keep momentum. You can see now Vickers making that work pretty well. On board with Brad Keselowski. You see right behind this group is that 29 car with Casey Mears in there. He's taking over for Jeff Burton who got uh, dinged up a little bit in cup practice, but I'm really impressed by the way this 29 car is running. He, he had no laps of practice at all. He got in this car and qualified it in the top 15. Two cars have already taken it behind the wall with the starting parks, the 92 of Dennis Setzer and the 49 of Mark Green. In fact, to Casey Mears just a second, he said that he hasn't even been in one of these in about two years since he was running some races.